in salve ammonia soda process sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonates are prepared by using brine solution brine solution is nothing but sea water sea water contains sodium chloride along with the magnesium iron and calcium salts this is the schematic diagram of the salve ammonia soda process in salve ammonia soda process three raw materials are used they are common salt ammonia and limestone limestone is mainly used for the production of the carbon dioxide gas yes. the basic principle of this process is that sodium bicarbonate is sparingly soluble in water whereas the sodium carbonate is completely soluble in water so firstly in this process sodium bicarbonate is prepared by passing ammonia and carbon dioxide gas into the brine solution then the sodium bicarbonate is heated to get the solid sodium carbonate so when ammonia and carbon dioxide are passed into the brine solution first of all ammonia and carbon dioxide reacts with each other in the presence of water and forms ammonium bicarbonate this ammonium bicarbonate in turn reacts with the sodium chloride to give the sodium bicarbonate and the sodium bicarbonate on heating gives the solid sodium carbonate so this is the principle involved in this process we can divide the entire process into five steps first one is the saturation of brine with the ammonia second step is the carbonation and the third step is the filtration fourth step is ammonia recovery and the fifth step is calcination first step in the solvent process is the saturation of brine with ammonia in this step ammonia gas is passed into the brine solution which is kept in the ammonia absorption tower and is allowed to stand for some time in this process the impurities like magnesium calcium and iron ions are removed in the form of their hydroxides and carbonates the second step in solvent process is carbonation saturating a solution with carbon dioxide gas is known as carbonation in this step the clear brine solution obtained in the first step is passed into the carbonating tower from the top and the carbon dioxide gas introduced into this tower from the bottom this carbonating tower is packed with the perforated plates in this step or in this tower the ammonia and carbon dioxide gas move in the opposite directions this is known as counter current process meanwhile they react with each other to form the solid sodium bicarbonate third step in the solvent process is filtration by using rotary vacuum filter solution obtained from the carbonation tower is filtered and solid sodium bicarbonate is obtained the filtrate is pumped to the top of the recovery tower to recover the ammonia gas used in this process the filtrate obtained from the rotary vacuum filter contains ammonium chloride and ammonium bicarbonate ammonia is recovered from the filtrate by passing steam and calcium hydroxide into this filtrate fifth step in the solvent process is calcination heating the limestone and sodium bicarbonate obtained in the third step in the absence of air is known as the calcination 
limestone decomposes to give the quick lime that means calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas this quick lime is used to prepare the lime water which is used to regenerate the ammonia and the reactions are like this